Hello friends, welcome to the Dead GK Punk channel. If you're here for whatever reason, and it's not me just watching it myself. There's a challenge out. Well, it's probably been out for a while. I haven't paid attention because of, you know, life. Uh, but it's uh, there was actually another challenge in Ambrose. It's just pretty self-explained, so you don't really need help. Not like anybody comes here for help. But anyways, this is a fine vintage in Mendoza, which is to eliminate both targets with the fiber wire and exit via the boat and do not change outfit. So you kind of, I kind of spoiled it in the background here with my practice runs. Um, by practice run, I run it once and if I don't struggle, I decide to make the video. Uh, so that's the challenge. And the other challenge I was talking about was Ambrose Island. You have to just Durian uh, Aka and then you unlock that so I'm not gonna make a video about that because that's dumb uh, but yeah that's the so to make things easy I'm just gonna start here in the tasting room disguised as the waiter I think this is one of the earliest unlocks and fiber wire obviously as a required item and this will be the distraction uh, but yeah with that said let's try All right, let's uh, talk through it. Mute the video if you don't like my voice. <laughs> Why are you even here, right? I, f I remember hearing somebody say that. But anyways, coming up the stairs, this is um, some old school strategy to, to just hold up tomorrow a little bit until this guard goes like about halfway by the stairs. I waited too long. I didn't need to wait that long there, but. If he's too close around here, then he will go for it by being v, uh, VIP enforced. And Tamara is slowed down because of that, so she's separated from the guard. Otherwise, she will be walking behind Dirty Diana. So, yeah, let's... That's the first one. And I chose this outfit. Another reason is not only that tomorrow spawns right here but you can kind of bypass this whole thing this bug's been here since the beginning i think it's intended at this point it has to be unless they randomly take it out which is always a possibility um can go up the uh, this pipe or the other one at this point don is already with his wife so it makes things a little complicated uh, because he will start screaming as soon as he sees something so uh, a guard will come up the stairs. I'm gonna do that. He's gonna go in lockdown and then I think. Did he scream? Yeah, he screamed. Alright, so we're gonna wait for that guy to show up because he's gonna go there and find the body, and I obviously don't want that. So he's gonna come up the stairs and knock him out, and we will basically go on our merry way towards the boat so can't change outfit is another obviously otherwise you could just take this disguise it would be so much uh a little bit easier it's not that hard but so just gonna jump some walls probably keep something weird inside and like how it's basically it there's not much more to it just walk to the boat you are trespassing in this area so gotta be careful there's a guard like that one right there and then there's a guard right in front of the boat. So that's why the trank is kind of useful here to just save some time. And the boat keys are hard left as soon as you leave the, or enter the boat house. So that's it. Walk right, drive in front, in front of him and that should be it for the challenge. Let's see if it worked. I've never finished the mission with this way, so we'll see. And yes, so we got the Pinot Noir unlock. Oh, I also completed that elusive target earlier, I guess. But yeah, that's about it for the challenge. And here's the unlock. Thanks for watching. Don't forget me. See you next time.